guys, it's your girl Shanika, aka Riveting Radiance. And today is a very, very, very special video. I wanted to share an experience with you guys and just tell you a little bit about what I've been doing lately. So today is Friday, February 7th. About a week ago, I decided that I wanted to do a dry fast. Now, if you know me and you know anything about me, I have done water fast before in the past. This is actually a step up from a water fast. And I wouldn't recommend someone to just jump into fasting. I feel like maybe if you're interested in fasting, you should maybe do like a juice fast and then a water fast and then maybe a dry fast. I am like the queen of fasting. I've mastered it. I have it down to a science and I will say I did a 19 day water fast and I ended up in the hospital and I'll explain to you why it's the fast itself is not dangerous it's how you break the fast that could potentially be dangerous so I was on the fast and I got invited to my biological dad's vow renewal he was renewing his vows with his wife and of course after that they had this huge reception and so I'm in this like reception hall sitting at a table with other family members and everybody it's like buffet style and everybody's chowing down and I'm sitting there looking weird and awkward and kind of like stuck up and it's like like I'm turning my nose up to their food or something or like I'm too good to eat and I think that it was a lapse of better judgment because I ended up getting like a little small amount of green beans and also like half of a meatball and I went into the hospital like I was like sick like I my body rejected everything water spit food I was like dry heaving and gagging and like I couldn't hold anything down and it was really bad so I ended up being admitted into the hospital but as you can see I turned around and I did a fast again because I know the error of my ways. If you know better, you do better. And I know it was because of the way that I broke the fast and not necessarily the fast itself. So, and I mean, like I said, I knew better then too. I didn't know that that small amount of food would have such a huge adverse effect. I'm recording this video at home with my kids. My husband is in here. So my son is like coming down the step right now. Hold on. What is it, Remington? I'm making a video. What is it? You want to say hi to the people? Say hi, people. Hi, Don't touch it, though. Don't touch it. Come here. Come here. You want to say hey to the people? Hey, people. You want to sit on my lap while I make the video? You have to sit down and you have to be still, okay? So, I'll probably send him up in a minute, okay, really? But anyway, so uh, let's talk about a dry fast. What is a dry fast? What's the purpose? What's the benefit? What's the reason? A dry fast is where you abstain from food and water. Yes, you heard me right. I'm not going to continue to repeat myself. Food and water. Again, today is Friday, February 7th. So I decided in January that I was going to start out the month of February doing a dry fast. So there's two different types of dry fast. There is an absolute dry fast where you abstain from water completely and then there's a soft dry fast. So when I say abstain from water completely, that means that you can't brush your teeth, you can't wash your face, you can't take a shower, you can't wash your hands. A soft dry fast is obviously you can do all of that, but you just wouldn't drink the water, you wouldn't consume it, you wouldn't ingest it. But if you wanted to wash your hair or take a shower or wash your hands after using the restroom or brush your teeth, you would be able to do that. But I just wanna be here to let you guys know that it is an absolute myth a fallacy, a lie that if you do not eat food or drink water for three days, you're going to die. The, I, honest to God on my life, I have not had not a crumb, not a lick of a anything. Nothing has gone in my mouth since January 31st of 2020. Today is February 7th of 2020. Today is my seventh day doing the dry fast, the soft dry fast. And you guys might be saying, this girl is loony, she's crazy. Like, I'm here, I'm live and I'm well. I'm not, I'm not, and this is another thing, as God is my witness, honest to God, I have not experienced one headache, I 
have not experienced being lethargic. I have not been lightheaded or dizzy. I have not experienced any hunger whatsoever. What I have experienced is thirst and dry mouth. I feel like my mouth is the Sahara Desert tough. I feel like it tastes like rotten garbage in my mouth. Those are the, those are the only symptoms that I've had. But other than that, I'm alive and well. Hey, I'm here. Hello, I'm not dead. And the reason why is because if you're fat or if you're overweight, you have fat that your body can eat off of. And guess what else? You know this, that our bodies are made up of 70% of water. So what do you think is gonna happen if you don't give it water? It's gonna start to ingest the water that it's already made up of. The water is in its fat cells. So not only if you're fat, it has fat to eat off of and to feed off of, but also there's water in your fat cells. So we're made up of 70% water, so our bodies are able to ingest that water. I want you guys to never take my word for it. I hate when people get on here and give disclaimers and disclosures. As you guys know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physician. You should do this under supervised care. I shouldn't have to tell you that. If I have to tell you that, then there's, that's a problem. You know, you know good and daggone well I'm not a doctor. You know I'm not a physician. And if, and you're, if you're grown and you have common sense, then you also know that you shouldn't take anyone's word for it. Do your own research. Pick up a book every once in a while. Watch a documentary every once in a while. There are doctors on the internet who are licensed professionals who are physicians who have doctorate degrees who went to med school who will tell you the benefits of dry fasting. There are, it's out there. It's not hidden under a rock somewhere. Do your research, figure it out, read. I'm not gonna sit up here giving all these disclosures and disclaimers or whatever, but, and I mean, I just, I, I'm sorry if I seem rough around the edges or if I seem abrasive, but I'm just like, sometimes I feel like society is brainwashed, sometimes I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone, sometimes I'm feeling like I'm dealing with a, a herd, a, a herd of people or just people who just are like, yes man, and they just go with the flow and they just listen to hearsay without actually having experienced something or researched something. And it's just like, because it sounds good, that it that must be what it is. But anyway, let's. I'm gonna tell you the benefits of dry fasting so you can get understanding. I'm going to read you some things on dry fasting before I get into like my, what my weight loss was and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna read to you a little bit. I'm gonna try to educate you guys just a little bit, just a little bit. A little education ain't gonna hurt you. So what is dry fasting? Dry fasting is exactly what it sounds like. No food or water for an extended period of time. At first glance, this might sound torturous, but let me walk you through the benefits of dry fasting and you might just find that this is the most powerful fast that you could ever do, okay? What are the benefits? Your body is so incredibly well designed. When you go extended periods without food, your cells will eat the toxins inside for it to survive. The toxins now, you got toxins in your body. So check this out. You know what extra water weight you feel like you're carrying around with you all day? When you go extended periods of time without food or water, your body will speed up the metabolism of the fat to access the water that resides within your fat cells, okay? That means that one of the most exciting benefits of dry fasting is an increase of fat metabolism. But the benefits of dry fasting don't end there. Research has proven that dry fasting can have the following miraculous effects on your body. Dry fasting lowers inflammation in your body. One of the most important benefits of dry fasting is that your inflammation levels significantly drop. In fact, studies show dry fast significantly lower the concentration of inflammatory markers like these. And then it has a list of inflammatory markers. Dry fasting helps you grow new brain cells. Dry fasting helps you grow new brain cells. Who doesn't need new brain cells? Okay. Um, it promotes the release of a chemical in your brain called BDNF. This is like a miracle growth for your brain. The benefits of BDNF of your brain are profound. It's known to improve memory and learning, increase brain plasticity, plasticity, I think I'm saying that right. Increase the creation of new neurons, protect against degeneration of brain cells. 
Okay, dry fasting balances cholesterol levels, the ACL, good cholesterol increases in women, total cholesterol and triglycerides decrease in men, and bad cholesterol decrease in both sexes. Dry fasting lowers blood sugar levels. When your blood sugar is too high, it's damaging to your body and your brain. When this doctor first started working on the patient, the goal was to get them running blood sugar somewhere between 70 and 90. When they see numbers that high, they know it's time to throw in some fasting. Multiple studies have found that after a dry fast, people have decreased blood glucose levels. Dry fasting prevents osteoporosis. And dry fasting has a huge impact on bone health. Your body will secrete a hormone called parathyroid hormone during fasting and it will help bone reabsorption, bone formation, and increase calcium levels in your blood. I'm not going to um, spoon feed you, you guys this information. Uh, I just wanted to touch on some of the things that it does. There's so many more benefits. My mouth tastes so gross. It's, I'm breaking my fast today, guys, and I'm having my first sip of drink with you guys, and I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm, it's, I'm so emotional about this drink because I have broken so many records. Like, this is phenomenal. I feel amazing and I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful that I was able to do this because it's such a miracle worker. It's like, oh my God. It's like one of the best things I've ever done. I have my thinning edges growing back in. Um, the, all the dark spots on my face are like almost completely faded away. I was getting like a little bit of athlete's foot on my left foot because I think I tried on a shoe without a sock at like a public shoe place and I must have gotten something, some sort of fungus with that. That's completely gone. My cycle came on during this drop fasting and I had zero symptoms. Normally when my cycle's on, I have to take at least three pampering maximum strength. I didn't have any pain associated with it, no cramps. No lower back pain, no headache, no nausea, no nothing. It was like the most, com it was the most comforting period I've ever had. Um, I have mental clarity, like my mood is elevated. Usually sometimes I might feel depressed or have anxiety or have mood swings or be angry. I feel like positive, like positive vibes and positive energy. I mean like, oh my gosh, y'all understand. And of course I lost weight. But it wasn't just about weight. Like, I want y'all to stop thinking that something can only be about one thing. And I'm using natural lighting, so if the lighting is like going in and out and stuff, then you know why. Because I'm not using a ring light, I'm using natural lighting, the sun from the outside. Yeah, good old vitamin D. We are built to be, we can multitask and we can do one thing and it can serve several purposes. And so this was spiritual, it was weight, and it was health, internal health as well. It was all of those. Why not knock out eight birds with one stone if you can? But anyway, I'm about to go get the coconut water that I'm gonna break this fast with. And I'm so excited to share this journey with you guys. I am gonna pray over my water. Uh, I don't mean to get too religious, but God means more to me than anybody. And so I am gonna pray over it. But let me go grab the coconut water so that we can take this sip together, guys. glass of ice and I have my coconut water I got from Whole Foods it's by a brand it's a brand called harmless harvest and the ingredient is literally organic coconut water so I'm gonna go ahead and take this first drink and I want you guys to research this brand the specific brand of coconut water so you can look at the reviews because people are saying that this is like fresh coconut water from a coconut. Like when this guy was in Bangkok, they would be on the side of the road and they would remove the husk and just literally give them the fresh coconut water straight out of the coconut. 
And he said this is the closest he's ever gotten to tasting coconut water that tastes just like fresh coconut water. So, and if you know coconut water does great with rehydrating you, it has electrolytes, it's way better than drinking Gatorade or something like that. So I'm gonna pour it in the ice. I want to do communion with this water, okay? So I'm gonna say a prayer over this water. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're the one who made this possible. You poured out your grace and favor upon me and helped me to make it through this fast. You're the living water and the bread of heaven. Jesus, this is your body and this is your blood. Your body that was broken for me and your blood that was shared, shed for me. And I, I do this, Lord, in remembrance of you, the Lamb of God, the spotless Lamb. Thank you, Lord, because you gave us water. So many simple things that you give us that we take for granted. I'm so unworthy. You're so worthy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right, you guys. This is my first bit of nutrient, my first sip. I'm going to actually come closer. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you for all the things that you've blessed me with. Please forgive me for all of my sins, Lord. I dedicate this fast to you. Continue to let the Holy Spirit lead and guide me. Just please continue to cover me and my family. Your blood be a fence around us. Keep us safe from harm at all times in every situation under all circumstances, Lord. We re I rebuke any disease, illness, illnesses, and viruses from me, my husband, and my kids' lives. I cast it down to the fits of hell, and I command it to flee. I rebuke the devil in Jesus' holy name, Lord. Just thank you so much for this coconut water, and thank you for keeping me on this fast and making sure I didn't die. And just thank you for all the health benefits that have taken place and manifested within my body from doing this fast. And I bless this water. Lord, thank you so much. I love you, Jesus. All right, y'all. Y'all ready? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, y'all don't even understand like so much mental that goes on with this type of thing. I don't know why I can't explain it. I'm sorry, whatever. Just go with it. Oh my god. And I didn't even like coconut water before this, but I just know this is like the best alternative, like the best, the best health choice. Take it really slow. I have been dreaming about this moment. Mm. 
I'm so happy right now. Anyway, I got you got some homework. I want you to do your own research on job passing. Like anything, you might see negative reviews or positive reviews. And I also want you to do your research on this particular coconut water as well. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let me pour the rest in here. I really want to add more ice because I like it to be super cold. I'm going to add more ice when, when I get off. But Guys, thank you so much for being with me. I didn't really know how this video would play out. I didn't know if I would be all over the place. Maybe I was. Maybe I wasn't. It doesn't matter. It's my journey. It's my personal experience. I shared it the best way that I knew how. Thank you for rocking with me. If you made it this far, put some water emojis down below in the comments so I can know that you guys made it this far and that you were rocking with me the whole time. And let me know if you want to try dry fasting. You could do one day. One day will heal you. I mean, people have gone from wearing glasses to like 2020 eyesight. They've reversed type 2 diabetes. They have like cleared up their fertility issues. They've gotten rid of PCOS. They've cleared up psoriasis. Like, oh my God, dry fasting is a miracle worker. Oh my God, I might have drunk too fast. My stomach's starting to feel a little weird. <sighs> but anyway. I will see you guys in another video. Bye. Say bye, Remington. Bye, Remington. <laughs> he said bye, Remington. Bye. At least he followed instructions. Okay, bye, guys. Mwah.